Mulotto Road, an important economic artery connecting the provinces of Limpopo, Mpumalanga and Gauteng. It is estimated that an excess of 25,000 people commute along this road on a daily basis. This is why Mulotto Road has become a priority for the South African government. The road has also become one of the government's strategic infrastructure projects that are undertaken to revive our economy. However, it is unfortunate that Mulotto Road also goes by many undesirable names, like the Unholy Road and Death Road. Due to its long history of fatal crashes, the fact that the road traverses three provinces means it was built and maintained to different standards. This is why the government had to declare it a national road and hand it over to Sunrail, placing the interests of the citizens and road users at the center, responding to the pleas of local communities and road users. Sunrail teams rolled up their sleeves and got down to work on the much needed upgrades. These upgrades link seamlessly with broader transport plans and the Moloto Development Corridor Initiative, attracting new investments and broadening the economic base of surrounding districts. The upgrading of Moloto Road is designed to drive economic prosperity, improve road safety and reduce travel time by allowing vehicles to travel safely. The upgrade will also contribute to healthy family and social relationships by minimizing time spent on the road. The road will also boast improved safety through state-of-the-art traffic management features. We do manage four provinces, Mpumalanga, Hauteng, Limpopo and the Northwest. Uh, that is from Slovo to uh, Siabuswa. That's where we are now. So my job is to over see the overall picture and make sure the project is actually being implemented and aligned in all three provinces. Sunrao recognizes the critical role it plays in the construction and related industries. It is mindful of the impact the construction industry and its procurement have on millions of people across South Africa. Our transformation policy prioritizes the inclusion of youth and women-owned businesses, empowering local communities, particularly those that have been historically disadvantaged is at the heart of our transformation agenda. Last year when we started about this upgrading of Mloto Road, we, were, we have agreed that 2% uh, of labor will be employed. To place us, to look for opportunities for us. The local community benefits in this project. And we're also hoping that uh, they will hire more disability companies. We are creating a culture where all citizens feel a sense of ownership in our country's major infrastructure builds, including our roads. To respond to the needs of the people who use this road daily, we've convened several information sessions with community members to assist them to obtain more information about road construction projects and how they can benefit from them. Um, this project is benefiting the community SMMEs because we have suppliers, we have companies that are going to be working in the implementation of the project, which necessarily means that part of the percentage in terms of the money that's going to be spent building the road is going to be left with the local people. Women are going to be participating through their women desk because they also form part of our PLC. Young people also serve in the PLC through the representative and they also through the CPG have a targeted uh, percentage that must be spent on young people in terms of the project implementation. We have two taxi associations in the area, which is Guaja Fontaine Taxi Association and the Guandebele United Long Distance Taxi Association, who are both represented in the PLC and who are active participants in the implementation of this project. No, Kasega se Uvila no be tine Sandra de ku Kasega kulo. Re lo community re tabile tata cause re zeba ori re zela idiro se idro odishi wadi accident arisa tu ba ona re fela re kala tela mela wia zela. Our public liaison committees are formed to facilitate the smooth running of the projects and effective communication. 
They are made up of representatives from traditional leaders, Department of Labor Centers, Safety Councils, Provincial, District and Local Authorities, Youth, Women and Persons with Disabilities. Apart from us as Sandran, you know, providing the infrastructure, you know, in the area, there's opportunities for your SMEs in the form of uh, what we call, uh, you know, local targeted enterprises. In terms of the law, 30%, you know, will have to, 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 to go to the targeted enterprises. And we intend to dealing the road, upgrade the whole road from point A to Molotu in a dual carriageway divided by a concrete barrier and the first 9-10 kilometers will also be constructed with lighting in the median to lighten the road. And all the intersections on the first 10 kilometers will be closed and it will only got access to the Malotto Road via uh, interchanges and ramps. Um, so I'm responsible for the Mpumalanga section of the road which is then termed section 2. So that's about 48.8 kilometers long. It's a safety project, you know. And one of the challenges that we saw uh, with the road as it is right now is that it's a single lane, meaning it's one um, lane in each direction. And usually that was also part of the causes, um, or the cause rather, of, of accidents. So my job basically is to try and keep everything together. So the Hauteng portion is it's a bit tricky now, because when the other three, or the other two provinces, agreed to transfer them to Sanro, Hauteng did not agree at that point from around 2015. So this then affected our progress in terms of our ability to actually finish the designs for that portion. However, in 2020, the road was declared a national road and is now under the Sunral jurisdiction. One great example of how Sunral involves the communities and everything we do is the Fuduwa Initiative in the Tembisilehani local municipality in Mpumalanga province. Fuduwa, a sepedi word that means to stir something up is an initiative that will definitely stir up the construction of Moloto Road by upskilling the local labor force. Given that skills development can reduce joblessness, raise incomes and improve standards of living. Here, unemployed community members, including the youth, women, people with disabilities and other previously disadvantaged individuals are engaged on various projects of the Moloto Road program. This outreach program was carried out across 32 local wards and includes input from municipal councillors and traditional leaders, ensuring that community members were given an equal and fair opportunity to engage with Sunral. Well, what we appreciate most is that uh, the road will be upgraded to reduce the accidents that are taking place almost every day and also the creation of opportunities for our people and our, uh, our targeted enterprises. The Molotta Road upgrade has an immediate impact and benefit on local SMMEs. 30% of the contract value are being channeled towards SMME development, giving local businesses the opportunity to participate in the tender process for subcontracting work, enabling them to provide income for themselves and their families. Sunral has also established a help desk to support community members who wish to submit their documentation and business profiles for tendering. Tender training sessions are also provided to local SMMEs to ensure that they are well equipped and have a clear understanding of what to expect at the tender brief. This is Sunral by the people, for the people. Sunrail prioritizes safety in the design and construction of South Africa's road network to ensure efficiency and improved quality of life for all. The roundabouts introduced as part of the upgrade in the Mpumalanga and Limpopo sections are a speed calming measure to reduce crashes. Land ownership in South Africa remains an explosive issue and is one of the challenges to the upgrades. In the past, it was not adequately controlled resulting in many unlawful encroachments on the road and, of course, the many illegal access points. For Sunral, 
land acquisition is a very important ingredient required for the construction, upgrading and maintenance of national roads. Now, property rights are clearly entrenched in the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. This is why we partnered with the Department of Rural Development and Land Reform, the municipality and representatives from local traditional authorities, and held community engagements to acquire additional land required for the road upgrade. We had to do it right. We took the time to engage stakeholders, clarifying the land acquisition process, explaining how individual rights would be affected, how they were going to be accommodated, and of course, how compensation would be determined. As Sanral, we have no doubt that when the upgrades are finished, Molotta Road will draw more economic activity into the area, enable small businesses to bring their produce to markets, be a much-loved route for tourists and facilitate the movement of people, products and services. From now on, Molotta Road will be known as the Road of Hope.